Byron Reed from Integrity Mortgage. Byron, good morning to you. Good morning, guys. Great to be here. Great to have you with us, man. Uh, what's the current uh, rate right now if you're looking for a traditional 30-year mortgage? Uh, your current rates right now, um, it, it, there's a lot of factors, of course, that go into play with that. But just to be on an average, right now you're usually between 6.75 and about 7 and a quarter, somewhere in that ballpark, depending mm -hmm. on what program you're going. How long have we been in this trading range, so to speak, with these so, rates? I knew you was getting me today, so I did a little homework. So um, if you look at the whole history over here the last couple of years, guys, um, March 22nd, we've noticed the increase. I mean, the feds basically took rates from zero to 5.25 pretty quick on their just streaming rates. Um, the good thing is I think we're out of a little bit of the negativity for right now because I meant for the, since March of 2022, we have been on an incline. Um, October and November last year, we hit our peak. Um, which we were in the eights. But uh, since October and November of uh, last year, we have seen a decrease where I'm telling you rates are today. Um, the biggest thing is everybody's like, the feds are going to cut rates. The feds are going to cut rates. Well, we kind of got to go backwards a little bit because, I mean, feds go off the market. The market predicts where we're headed. Okay. So with the market and the inflation reports and everything that's came out after they kind of talked early in January, um, again, this is just where we're at right now. I think we're going to kind of just kind of stay steady for a while, guys. Um, I'm not saying there won't be a rate cut. Um, there's not a lot of information showing us that we're going to see any more increases. But, I mean, I could tell you guys that right now and go back to the office here in a little bit, and we would see something crazy right now because, I mean, we are in a very unique market. Um, you know, that's really what controls what the feds are going to do. Mm-hmm. When uh, everything's relative, when, when I was 25 buying my first home, the rate I got was 10.5% by the time we went to closing. It was 9.5% when we contracted as a townhouse to get it built. By the time they finished building it and we went to closing, it had jumped a full percentage point in the months it took to finish the contract out. So at 10.5, I would have been thrilled at 6 and 3 quarters or 7 and a quarter. But as time went by... People like Mr. Gilstrap got in under 3%, and, and those folks have zero interest in selling that house and getting another house right now. At My set. first was 13.75. Yeah. Three-year arm. Three-year arm. <laughs> yeah. So th the teens have been out there, yeah. guys, and I've actually done those rates myself. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I've done all the way down to 1.75 was actually the lowest rate I've ever done. Wow. Was that um, a 15? 15-year 15 loan. She put some money down for some points and got that thing down there. So, wow. again, I've seen it. Um, you know, we've kind of done this to ourselves by dropping rates so low. Um, that's what we're kind of paying. But, you know, price. there's another side of that, too. The house we bought at 13.75 was $87,000, and we were making $40,000 a year. So, you know, it was that that's a whole different thing than when you're making, I don't know what, what people are making now, but it's it's probably you know, maybe $80,000 a year, and houses, you're lucky to get them for four and a quarter, maybe. So, you know, it, it's it, it goes. I, I have that argument with clients all the time, um, especially your younger you know, people coming in. They're like, well, mom and dad didn't pay this price for the house. Yeah. And 100 percent correct on that. Um, but mom and dad weren't making what you're making now when they bought the house. There's an argument to be had there, yeah. to be fair with you. Um, again, we've talked about this a lot. Uh, <sighs> It's tough. I mean, the biggest thing that I run into um, that I'm seeing is just, you know, the demand and the inventory. I mean, that's our biggest issue right now that I feel that I'd come across is there's just not a lot of houses still out there for sale because you do have a lot of people sitting on those two and a half and three percent. You can get into math and the financial part of it, which is what I kind of get my nerdy self into a little bit, to be fair with you guys, to see where your money's at. Um, but again, depending on what you pay on a mortgage is not always what your interest rate is either. A lot of people do pay extra. So again, it's one of those factors that you really just have to look at everybody's circumstances, really dive deep in there and find out what they're trying to do. But there's another complicating aspect. Mom and dad, my generation, uh, the one place to go for a mortgage. You went to your local bank. Now you have the credit unions. You have the online. A lot of banks don't even offer mortgages they, anymore. That's right. But, but you have online. You, uh, and uh, so there's a whole series in regional banks. How does, and also mortgage brokers, uh, someone new to the game get in the mortgage for the first time, 
Where did it go? How did they sort through all these options? I can tell you right now, call Byron. Okay, that's the best thing I can tell you, okay? <laughs> um, just giving, you know, um, the difference too, when you say mom and dad, and we go back to that time, most of the loans, like you said, through the bank and stuff, were 20% down. So you were either getting help from mom and dad sometimes to help you put that money down. Um, there was really only a couple different programs, but over the last 30 years, I mean, we have 20 some different programs that we can work you in to no money down at all to getting your closing costs basically helped out with either the seller or different ways, you know, with the grants and different things that we have out there that can help you locally. So I meant there is a way now where you bought a house, you were bringing 20% plus closing. I've got clients that don't bring a dollar. I mean, they write an earnest money deposit to satisfy that contract and we turn around and give that money back to them. That contributed in part, I think, to the financial crash that we had in 2008, 2009. No money down mortgages, Bill? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, it wasn't the no money down mortgages. It was basically interest-only loans that people were doing loans for a payment that they would qualify f right now, but three to five years. Once the principal was added to that, that's what hurt more people. Um, it's not the fact of not really putting the money down. It was the fact that of a payment was changing five to seven hundred dollars from what you were used to paying again i think the loans we're doing right now personally from doing those loans 20 years ago um we get every documentation known to man on you um and i mean you have to explain everything that you're doing compared to deposits going into your bank account um you know anything that would red flag oh you don't there's a bill on here you're paying every month we see on your bank statement but it's not on your credit report what is that so, I mean, we're getting a lot more depth on these clients. Um, I don't see that as an issue, to be fair with you. Um, the biggest issue that I run across with my real estate agents and business partners, I mean, it's just finding that house for somebody. There's plenty of buyers out there right now. They're not really scared of the rate anymore, to be fair with you. I mean, this is kind of where we're at, guys. And I mean, many people have accepted that. It's just there's just not tons and tons of homes out there right now. Um, which we hope to see that change in the near future. As fast as they're building around here, it's hard to believe there's not enough of them, right? They could build them a lot faster, too. <laughs> yeah, they're going to have to. <laughs> now, does this same same problem extend throughout the state? Or when this fast is, growth area is, is unique? This is nation. Nationwide? Nationwide. Okay. This ain't got nothing to do just with us. Um, I do think we're still a diamond in the rough. Um, if you look at the average median sales out there across the United States, we're still in a very good price point, guys. I mean, that's why we have a lot of people coming from the city moving in this area. Um, we didn't see the big increases during the COVID bang that I basically saw everything jump through the roof. We did increase, but not at the levels of some of the bigger cities. And some of those prices doubled and tripled. Yes. What a price range we're talking about. What's what's. What is the price range people are looking for now? The bulk of the people. That's a tough one because again, it goes on every situation. Um, I mean, most people that you're seeing right now are probably in the high twos. Is our average median, which is in this area right sales now? Sales price or loan? Sales me. price. Sales price. And that'll buy that. Those are the townhouses that are being built. Yes. Okay. I mean, you're in the mid twos, even in the higher twos. How aggressive you get with those? Um, that's really what the average is out there. Finding anything under 200000 right now, which makes me smile because doing this for 20 some years, I did a lot of $100,000 loans, a lot of 110000 I mean, I did plenty of them. How, um, long, how long has it been since you did that? It's been a while. Yeah. It's been a while. So you're, you're a couple of kids. You graduated from the local high school. You just got done at Shepherd or WVU or whatever. And I went to Old Glenville. I know you did. Uh, and you're playing ball. Here. You, you, you play ball, but you're you're uh, here in the area. You're working and whatever. Uh, you got married. You're looking for your first house. What are your options on a first house purchase mortgage now in West Virginia? Probably, like I said, in that mid two range. No, I mean in terms of the kind of loan you can get. Um, any type of loan. There's all of them are open for that. Um, you can do FHA, USDA, West Virginia Housing. Um, conventional VA I meant the list goes on and on when it comes to purchasing a home it's what you qualify for um, and are there any special programs for first-time home buyers 
in West Virginia who are West Virginians? More your West Virginia housing and your USDA loans, because both of them require you not owning a home prior mm -hmm. um, and things like that, or having a mortgage when you currently do that mortgage application. So those are the ones that I'm seeing more. Um, we are doing a lot of FHA, um, which we are helping with the down payment. There's a down payment assist program that's actually helping people where they now are just coming with their closing costs without having the down payment on top of that. And so are you getting a, a grant for them effectively or a no basically, interest loan or how does that work? It's an interest loan um, that basically is a second. That's where they're putting most of them. Some have periods where you don't have to make the payment at first. Some have periods where you can make the payment right when the loan starts. Are they at the standard interest rate or do they have a special rate that goes with yeah. them? Yeah. Now, at West Virginia Housing always has their own rate. It changes usually every couple of weeks or here or there. That's one that you can go online and look at their rate. They post it. Um, most rates are online too now, guys. I mean, they yeah. make it very easy for people to go on there. Um, I use it all the time because when somebody says something to me, you know, I'll say, well, let's pop this internet up real quick and just look at what you're seeing. And I'm going to show you the average out there. Ron, most of the customers you see, are they folks that are from the Eastern Panhandle or the people coming in from, say, the D.C. area? I would say about 50-50. Okay. I mean, I'd get a mixture of that. just depends. What's, what's the, the bottom margin of a good credit score to get a good loan? You don't really want to be under 640. Um, I mean, you do get penalties on your interest rate and different things that we can do to your debt to income. Um, 645 so, is strong and you don't have to worry. I can do a loan 640 and above. No problem. I actually can do a loan all the way down to 580. Um, so again, depends on your circumstances, why you have that. We have to explain why, because in theory, if you have a 580 credit store, guys, you've not paid something. Like, there's a reason why your score is not in the high sixes or seven. Something's happened to your so credit. So for people who are out there listening, how do they repair that? If they know that they, this is what they want to do, how do they repair it? How long does it take? They need to call somebody, number one, okay? Because what you sometimes think fixes your credit is not always the way to fix credit. And credit's its unique beast. I tell people that every day because think of it like this, guys. At 18 years old, we all get our credit wheel, I call it, okay? None of us got anything different. It's the same wheel we're all handed, okay? It's called life. Here we go. Let's roll it, all right? And where you turn left, I turn right, we can always bring that credit back to the straight line, okay? But it's just what terms of life that have you done did you help out your brother that didn't pay a bill did you help out mom and dad did you take care of a girlfriend like the list can go on and on i've heard a lot of reasons why people's credit's been messed up over the years but it's always fixable it's always fixable you just got to sit down with somebody that knows what they're talking about with credit and guide you in the right direction a couple of questions for you in our online section here with our uh, Facebook crew. And uh, one is uh, a question about private mortgage insurance. Is that still required for most loans without 20% down? Yes, yes. Now, you can, again, pay that up front. Um, it's one of those situations that I want to talk to you a little bit and find out, you know, why do you want to pay this up front? Because there's a really good possibility that I'm going to refi you in the next two to three years so there's no point in doing that right now if we know that's coming across the line because you would never recoup that money back that you paid up front. So those are just situations that we have to talk. Um, conventional 20% down, you get, a, get around it. FHA, USDA, it's on there. Um, if you're a veteran, VA does not require PMI, period, with no money down at all. Um, that's the perks of the VA loan. Also, there is no down payment with that VA loan. You mentioned before, Byron, you can check out all these rates uh, online. Uh, and then the discussion, of course, in our Facebook section was, if I can find this stuff online, why do I need to go to Byron Reed? Can I, can I just go online and find the lowest rate I can find and then just execute this loan myself? Um, you can absolutely do that. But uh, when it comes to getting your documentation and... Come a little closer to your mic. I'm sorry about that. Um, with getting your documentation and all that good stuff, um, if you want to deal with just a telephone, I tell people this is the biggest debt of your life. Um, show a little care about it because, again, do you want to make sure everything you're signing, if you have any questions um, through the process, you can come and see me face-to-face. -face. Like you said earlier, I'm a local boy. I'm going to run into you at a restaurant. I'm going to run into you at Walmart. 
Um, I want to walk up and give you a hug and say, how's that home doing? I meant it's the more, more personable part of it. Um, and again, if you want to deal online, there's many people out there that like to do that. But um, you got somebody that has your back through the whole process, and it's going to explain everything and give you that service that you're looking for. For the ones of us that have not been in the Morgan, uh, more looking for a mortgage recently, what are the advantages? You've given some advantages of working with you as a broker. What are some of the advantages of working online for mortgage? You would have to do really talk to somebody that does everything okay. online because yeah. that's not okay. me. That's yeah. uh, I I like to be face to face. I like to sit down with you. I like to talk to you. Um, fill out what you're really trying to do here. Um, give you some examples in different directions. Um, I, I don't know the advantage there besides mm -hmm. you can click a button and not have to talk to anybody. Sure. Well, having gone through this just recently, and, and we did not go through you. I was not aware of you at the time. Um, but to have somebody that you can pick up the phone and talk to and just kind of go through the process. We built a house. So it was a construction loan, something we hadn't done before, and there are a lot of new moving parts. And just to have somebody who who does understand the process and kind of, kind of help you through the panic attacks, it's it's always it's just nice. You it know, it is. It, you're, part of what you do, I'm going to guess, you're part marriage counselor and <laughs> Psych and, psychologist, you know, <laughs> psychologist. You know all that all that stuff because you're dealing with a lot of money, and that's and people need that. And it's your biggest debt. I always give people a smile when I say that. I'm like, hey, I am going to be the guy that gives you your biggest debt, okay? I, I know that going into this. Um, but it is very stressful, okay? And you got a 100 things going on in your life right now that when one little thing pops up, you think it's a major problem. To me, it's just a curve here. We're fine. It's no mm -hmm. big deal. We'll take care of this. We'll wrap it up for you. It's not a big deal. Construction loans, again, there's a lot of different draws. There's a lot of different times that you have to go in and regroup. So it is very stressful. And I think, you know, coming in and talking to somebody and having that person that can just make you feel at ease. Byron, how long have you been doing this? 23 years. Why did you get into this industry? <laughs> Great question. Uh, graduated. Played football, guys, enjoyed every minute of it. Didn't really have a path really where I was headed. Um, had a great friend of mine that worked at Wells Fargo, graduated the year prior from me, called me, um, said, what are you doing? And I said, man, I'm just kind of filling out what life's going to bring me here. And uh, he gave me an opportunity in Parkersburg, West Virginia, um, with Wells Fargo Financial. I got my feet in the doorway and uh, started doing it. Did all right. Um, had some people come back and say, you know, you're not too bad at this. And I was like, oh, yeah. I, again, I just was rolling with the punches. And uh, then got to move back up home here because uh, Wells Fargo opened up a new branch. And they brought me and him up here to open that new branch. Got back home, met some other people. And uh, ever since it's been in my rearview mirror, guys, uh, I enjoy putting people in their home. I really love somebody that walks into my door that doesn't think they can own a home. Like... Uh, again, I love all my clients, but that one person that you can put that smile on their face that they never, ever believed that they could have that home ownership. Um, there's nothing, there's not a better feeling in the world for me doing what I do. I love it. Um, or even showing somebody that's just had some bad years of credit and just have been beat up over just credit and always been told no. And to flip that script and show them there, there's nothing better. Byron, we're just about out of time, about a minute left. How do folks get in touch with you if they have questions about the next mortgage they're going to assume? Absolutely, guys. So you can find me online, of course, byronreedteam.com. Um, we're always there. It's very easy to find us online there. Um, you're also, I'll make it simple. So we've been uh, at the new roundabout there on uh, Rock Cliff and Tavern. Uh, looks like that's all been cleared up. So we're right there on the corner, 304 Rock Cliff Drive. Uh, Integrity Home Mortgage. It's a tan building right there on the corner. Feel free to always stop in. We love just stop-ins. It's awesome. Um, you can also, like I said, call me at 304-377-6467. And uh, pretty easy to get a hold of us anytime. You do refis too? All of it. All right. I imagine that market slowed a little bit, uh, though, lately. It has. Um, yeah. We could have a topic on that because you'd be surprised, though, with a lot of people during the COVID um, that's racked up some debt. So even though you have that 3%, I'm saving people a lot of money monthly right now, even raising their rate up to 7%, because if you look at the average, it's a lot higher than that. Byron, hang out. Final minute coming up next. We're back with uh, 50 seconds on the clock after this.